been for the 14th of March, 2021. Uh, first, just a general thing. Uh, tell me why. So a game that Swinney did review. So you can go back to like episode 20-ish, Swinney. I don't, uh, I'll put it in the description. I think it was earlier okay. than that. Oh, really? Yeah, because so, it was before Mike joined and he's been around for a while. He's an yeah, old timer now. Isn't yeah, it? we can't get rid of him. People are like, whoa, there was a time before Mike? That's incredible. Uh, the good days. <laughs> so BM before Mike. Yeah, I was going to say, those were the good days. Yeah, exactly. No uh, more. The, ter- the tyrant has entered the game. <laughs> so tell me why the first chapter is now permanently free. Uh, so that's on Steam, Xbox, wherever the game's available. Thanks, that's Xbox. Pretty that's cool. great. That's great for everyone, yeah. I'm, I'm being the shield for once. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, on Epic Games, the greatest uh, PC game store, come at me. Uh, Surviving Mars is free until the 19th of March. I have to say, every time a game like this comes up where it has been free before, so I obviously have already added it to my library, I do get a bit sad that's, <laughs> when I'm like, what? I can't add this game. I've already got it. If you remember, that's the game that I do did the dodgy patch to get all the achievements as well. That's ah, there you go. Uh, big sales for Nintendo. So as part of the Mario 35, they had 35% off. So I'm looking forward to the Mario 95 anniversary where it's 95% off. It's probably the best sale that Nintendo would ever have. Uh, so Paper Mario, Origami King, uh, Super Mario Maker 2, and Mario Odyssey are uh, like 52 Australian dollars until the 21st of March. So it's a week. Any one of those games is well worth that price. But I think, you know, for me, Odyssey is insane value at $52. That's just like a must-play game. Mario Maker 2 is very good as well. It depends on, like, how you want to play the games. I think for you, Swinney, which one would you pick out of those three if you had to choose? Mario Maker by far. Oh, really? Okay, there you go. Yeah, you put hundreds of hours into that game. Yeah. We do need to feature your world shortly as one of the that'd specials. That would be cool, mate. Yeah, that would be cool, actually. Yeah, I was going to surprise you and do it, but I, I thought, <laughs> nah, I better tell you. Uh, PSA, Nintendo has reconfirmed. because, And just the context here is Tetris 99 was meant to be a timed exclusive, then they have let it run forever uh mario 35th anniversary titles will go off sale at the end of 31st of march so they've confirmed that so that means digitally you will not be able to buy 3d all-stars and then you'll start to oh, see wow. it disappear on shelves why why is that why you didn't know about this uh, like, no. that's a whole thing like we should probably because like otherwise we're going for ages it is what it is Nintendo but is let's ridiculous. talk about it next time yeah it yeah, is what it is it but week. essentially really there's ridiculous. a whole host of stuff that's going offline i think as okay. it gets closer we'll say every single thing that's going offline um but that also means yeah mario 35 the game is going offline uh also yeah. fire emblem the uh remake yeah essentially is going offline as well so and that's only available digitally anyway so who knows if you can ever get that game again uh, in terms of PlayStation, Tales of... you, I feel like you pick these games, Swinney. You pick the ones that you like but are hard to say. How do I say that? Is, well, sometimes, is this Well, sometimes I'll choose ones that are hard to say. But I know you do. I know but, you uh, do. I mean, I, I'd love... To, it, there was a Tales story meant to cover this week, but I, I cut it. So this, okay. is, this is a discount on a Tales game. Sales and of, how do you say it? Zestiria. Oh, Zestiria. Okay. So there's $10 until the 18th of March and Dead Island Definitive Edition is also... Uh, five dollars until the eighteenth of March. Now we'll uh, hand over to the some other year, two thousand eleven. We'll we'll hand, <laughs> we'll hand over to the Xbox Shield himself, Swinney, the <laughs> Hall of Famer, the official Hall of Famer. That is a lie. Big news. So um, yeah, so additions to Game Pass available now the, as part of the Bethesda Microsoft official announcement. There's twelve new games added. So all all the new twelve are all on console and PC. So that's uh, Dishonored Definitive Edition, Doom. And Doom 2, which are the 2019 re-releases of the classic games. Uh, Doom oh. 3. No, because there's a separate version. <laughs> it's so weird. That, yeah, I read that. I'm like, what, why'd you write 2019? Because okay, there's yeah, separate versions it. of Doom Arcade and Doom 2 Arcade that are backwards compatible from 360 as well. Um, so Doom 3, Doom 64, uh, Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind, Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion, The Evil Within, Fallout 4, Prey, Wolfenstein The New Order, and Wolfenstein The New, uh, the Old Blood. And they join the um, a bunch of games that are already in Game Pass, which as with part of the announcement, which was Dishonored 2, Doom Eternal, Fallout 76, Fallout New Vegas, which is console only, Elder Scrolls, Skyrim Special Edition, Elder Scrolls Online, that's console only, Rage 2, and Wolfenstein Young Blood. That's a really good selection. Wait, is Doom 2016 yeah. not on Game Pass? No, not anymore. No. I think oh. it used to be, right? But no, it's yeah, not. Yeah, so there's a few it games was. like... 
There I are a few games yeah, missing, like it. Evil Within oh, 2 and stuff. So mm. you'd see, you'll start Fallout to see 3. some of those things dropping. Yeah, Fallout 3 is another. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe they'll they'll add them later. But I have to I mean, admit, there's so many games that they added. I felt like at that point they should just add everything. Well, I think it's yeah, the it's sometimes the work. Like, I think Fallout Three, some of the New Vegas, um, where like yeah. to get on the Windows Store, they just need to kind of do a bit Fair of work enough. to it. Um, but, yeah. Would you now say it's good good value Game Pass, or are you, are you still me? Yeah. For, I, you honestly, still for the, PC, look. I'm the thing is, my value. again, I buy games on discount. I monitor that. I'm very patient. I have to say the podcast is kind of throwing me in a loop for that kind of stuff. Things like the Mass Effect trilogy, I'll probably just have to eat it and buy it when it comes out mm. if I've got time to play it. 80 bucks worth. It's such a ripoff. Um, but look, Game Pass is good. Like if you, <laughs> Sweetie doesn't say that. I, I'll say like this. If you have a Series X, Game Pass, if you don't have Game Pass, I don't understand why you got the Series X. Like to me, that's just an, a total if no-brainer. You, if you want to play on a console. Like yeah. that's straightforward. The answer is he can play like all the, the physical games. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Maybe I didn't say what I said correctly. I said if you have an Xbox Series X, you have to have Game Pass. Oh, it's sorry, like, sorry. Yeah, it's a, okay. sorry. I didn't say it right. It's you a no-brainer. Have to. No, no, no. If you, ha- if, dude, if you have a Series X and you don't have Game Pass, it makes no sense to me. You have Why to have not? Game Pass. You it's get an just, entire collection. It of is games. insane value. No, I'm just, uh, maybe I'm oh, not no, speaking it's correctly. Jesus. No, I know what you're trying to say. I'm just giving you shit. No, it is. But it's on a, PC, it's extremely it's like, good value, totally dude, worth picking up. Like yes. I only have it on PC. It's very buggy. It's like, dude, it's like hard to uninstall the games. It's really buggy the way it all yeah, works. Yeah, I, I had a bunch of issues. With the it games too, yeah. crash way more than they do on oh, Steam. Okay. And you know, people had. will say that a lot. Uh, mm. But having said that, you know, value. It's interesting because. I won't be able to keep these games. It's a it's a membership, right? It's a temporary thing. It's borrowing. So, sure, I probably won't buy some of the games, but there's like a game like Resident Evil 7. I probably would want to play that again eventually. And once it goes off Game Pass, I won't. So then it's like, mm, okay, that's a bit weird. Like uh, The uh, argument, I, argument for me is always it gets me to play games that I never would have purchased otherwise, like You Tell Me Why and Spirit Fair. And yeah. Things. And I get to experience new things like Call of the Sea, which I'm like, Man, that was great. I wouldn't have bought that, you know. So, if I, if it wasn't for the podcast, I certainly wouldn't get it. But I think it does make sense with the podcast because I could play a game like Medium and then trash it, and you know, not understand why people think that's a nine out of ten game. So for for that kind of thing, that's good. Like it was actually useful. Uh, speaking about the podcast, let's move on to Mike's review. So Mike is going to. Re- 